Welcome to step two. We are going to make frames for your pictures with this. So if you remember, this is my background that I've started so far, and I'm doing the uh, Riddler Batman sort of theme, and now I'm going to add in my frames. So I'm actually going to make this into my picture frame, this Batman logo, and I'm going to pause for a second because I need to open one more file. Okay, so I'm going to use this photo to put inside the logo on my background. So first thing, you're going to start with your logo, and you are going to select all, Command A, copy, Command C, and then go to your document and paste it, Command V. Now I can always change the size of this, but the very first thing we're going to do is get rid of all of this white space. So here is a great tool. It is the Magic Wand tool. It's in the same place as your Quick Selection tool, but my Magic Wand tool picks up a color. So I can click on this white, it finds all the white, and I just hit Delete. All right. So now I'm going to do this and move this over. So I'm going to change the size of this. So I'm going to transform it, shrink it down to the size that I want, and think about placement. So there is my first one. I'm going to do another one. Magic wand, delete that out, transform, because I might want a different size or a different rotation. I'm going to do this one down here, shrink it down a little bit more. There, I'll go like this. And then my last one, paste it in, magic wand, delete, transform. So I'm thinking about the placement of my pictures. So I can have these three like this. I could always go back and change the size of one if I don't like that or remove it around, all kinds of things. But think about placement for where you're going to put all of your pictures. So I'm going to do that. All right, next thing is we're going to add in our photos. So I'm going to go here to one of my pictures. I'm going to select all. I'm going to copy again and now go over here and I'm going to paste it one more time. Now in this one, the first step I want to do is I want to make it as big as one of my frames. So I'm going to do this top frame. Don't worry that it doesn't fit exactly right now. Doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm going to close the eye on my photo layer for just a minute. And I'm going to go to this layer. So my top Batman logo. Now this time I'm going to either do the quick selection or magic wand, doesn't matter. And I'm going to select the logo one more time, or my frame one more time. Now that I've selected my frame, I'm going to go back to my photo. I open it back up, and this time I'm going to turn it into a mask. Hit the mask button, and I'm all set. Now my photo is exactly inside that frame. That's how you do a shape frame. Now let's say it's not exactly where I want. I can say I'm losing his eyes. So what I'm going to do is go over here. I'm going to unlink these two. I'm going to click on the photo, and now I can move the photo inside the frame. So I get this funny little eyes. Looks great. Then I link them back up. Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay, so again, I start with my photo. I select all. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go over here to my document. I'm going to paste it in. And I'm just going to transform so that it's as big as my logo or my frame. I'm going to rotate this one over. It's going to go inside this frame. So I stretch it out. And I don't need to worry that it's right in the right place. It doesn't matter. I close the eye on that photo layer. And I go to my frame layer. I'm on my frame layer. And I'm going to go select the inside of the frame. I then go to, I'm going to try that one more time. I don't like that. There we go. There we go. I select the inside of the frame. I go back to my photo layer, open that back up, turn it into a mask. There we go. Now, if I need to move the photo, remember I unlink them, click on my photo, and move it. Now she's inside. Okay, so you're going to do that for all three of your pictures if you decide to do frames this way. You could do the same thing with the standard square frame. I'm going to show you that really quickly just so you can see what that is. So I'm going to take these off. I'm going to go find some stuff, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's say I have a more traditional frame like this. It would work just the same. So I select all, copy, and paste this in. I can change the size of my frame, rotate it, whatever I want to do. 
Okay, so I have that frame. Remember, I go to the magic wand tool. I select the inside, select the outside. I'm going to keep that little white frame. Now I just have my frame. So I'm going to go get a face again. I've selected all, copy, and paste it in. Transform. This one, I'm going to make it as big as the frame. Now be careful, remember you don't want to get it distorted like this. You want to hold down that shift key so it stays in proportion. I get the size that I want. Close out the eye. Go to the frame layer. Make it in, select the inside. Sorry, I almost said mask. Nope, I'm going to select the inside of it. Click selection. Inside of my frame. Go back to that photo layer. Open it up and turn it into a mask. There he is. Again, if I want to move it, I just unlink, click on the picture, move them over, get them exactly where I want them to be. That's funny. There we go. Link it back up. I'm all set to go. I now have a photo inside my frame. So figure out where you want your photos to go, where you want the frames to go, get things set up. Careful, don't cover up everything in your background, but you still want to make sure that you highlight the photos that you've taken.